Yo, Adam Saxon with Guy in a Cube, and in this video, I need to ask you a question. Are your visuals misleading? Let's dig into that. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. All right, misleading visuals. What am I talking about? I was in a discussion the other day with someone and they were trying to get this visual to represent a certain number and it wasn't working and uh, wait, you know what? Let's head over to my machine and actually show you what was going on. So what we've got is just a table and what they were calculating was they had a due date and they're calculating how many days were past due for that given individual. And when we looked at this, what they said is like, oh, no, 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 the totals is, are wrong. Like here it's saying 284, but that's not what they wanted it to show. What they wanted was to have something like this, where the actual total row indicates the number of people that were past due. That doesn't make sense. Here, here's, here's why it doesn't make sense. The title of the column says days past due where the 284 represents what I'm reflecting in the title. If I have the number eight here to indicate that the number of people that are past due, but the rest of this is actually telling me the number of days that are past due, that like, why, why am I necessarily reflecting it that way? It, it ends up being misleading because the visual is communicating one thing, but I'm actually showing another. And the bigger point that I made on this is like, well, you're making an assumption that the person looking at this report understands that that number means what you're intending it to mean. So if your intent on that number is that these are the number of people that were past due, that assumption is that person knows that that's what you're trying to communicate. I would not make that assumption. It, just because it's not straightforward and there's nothing there to indicate to me. The biggest thing I kind of tell people or try to frame this in a certain way is six months from now, are you even going to own this report? Is someone else taking this over? Or even six months from now, the person that's then going to be coming in to look at this, do they even know that that's what you're trying to communicate with that number? Here's the suggestion that I gave for this particular example. Let's head back. So what I suggested here, and I also asked, I'm like, is there anything else on this total row that you really, do you really even need totals? First off, that was the thing because they were trying to communicate a different number. I didn't see anything else that for their particular example that was needed there. And they, they even said, nope, we don't need totals. So I suggested, why don't we just go and turn totals off? And then here, let's get rid of my, my, my incorrect one here, right? So now my table is communicating days past due, which is great. But then they were like, whoa, whoa, where's the number? So I created a separate measure that actually does the count. And then what we can do is just put this on here, make it a card. And now I can reflect from a visual perspective the number of people that are past due. And then here's the detail information. This is something to think about when you're creating visuals, what's the intent and what's the story that you're trying to communicate. And we don't want to mislead people by indicating that we're communicating one thing, but we're showing something else. All right. I want to hand this over to you. What do you guys think about that? Do you think about this when you're creating visuals in your report? Are you thinking about the story that you're trying to communicate? And are you challenging your assumptions? so that you're communicating the right thing and not overcomplicating things. Let me know in the comments below. I'm curious. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome. And we'll see you in the next video.